Okay, let's do this. Today, I'm going to teach you something about blockchain technology. Let's first have a look at how we transfer information and value. Nowadays, we're sending information via the internet, electronically, instantly, and between individuals. If we want to transfer value today, we could physically give someone a 50 euro note. Alternatively, we can use online banking. The money is stored at the bank, and we use the internet which allows us to have a look at our account at the bank. Blockchain will allow sending value electronically and directly via the internet, just like we send an email. If we send value to each other directly, we might not need banks anymore as we know them today. Similarly, stock exchanges or other intermediaries might need to adjust their business model. If we send value to each other, we can also send money to machines or devices, like cars or parking ticket automats. Even more so, devices and machines can send value to each other. Imagine a car paying for its parking ticket autonomously. If value can be sent without intermediaries, then transaction costs decrease. For example, allowing for micro-payments between millions of electronic devices and helping people who have no access to a financial infrastructure to use banking services. These examples indicate the impact blockchain technology might have in the following decades by establishing an Internet of Value.